the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 173. Hosea 10 to 14. Burning mercy, trailer for the cross. Revealing the heart of love for the disobedient people of North Israel, God earnestly pleaded with them to return to Him once again. First point. Although God's heart towards Israel was consistently the same, North Israel had only half a heart for God. North Israel halved their heart for God when Jeroboam created his way of making idols in Dan and Bethel. God informed Hosea of the current times by comparing it to the period of Gibeah. The Gibeah period God referred to here was during the era of the judges, when the tribe of Benjamin almost perished. By referring to the Gibeah period, God warned the people that they could disappear without a trace if they did not repent. This was their last opportunity given by God to repent. God continued to judge the sins of North Israel. The people had turned away from God and had lived according to their greed and desires, but this was all about to change. To the people who bowed down to the idols, God told them to return to Him. Through Hosea, God told them that it was their opportunity to repent. Their evil was so bad that it resembled the Gibeah instant. They were to find an exit before it was really too late. Second point, God's everlasting love towards North Israel was continued through the prophets regarding the coming of the Messiah. Through Hosea, God told the people of his love for North Israel. God told them how he had protected them from long ago. Then your heart will become proud and you will forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. This message reappears later when Mary, Joseph, and Jesus flee from Herod. God told them that they who disobeyed their father were to receive punishment. Despite their sins, however, God still revealed his mercy. How can I give you up Ephraim? How can I hand you over Israel? How can I treat you like Adma? How can I make you like Zeboim? My heart is changed within me. All my compassion is aroused. Towards the end days of North Israel, God still clearly revealed His love. God had to punish them, but yet He could not at the same time. God's ultimate love was revealed through Jesus Christ. Although the people of North Israel were sent as captives to Assyria because of their sin, as God had delivered their ancestors in Egypt previously, God would deliver them with His great love. Third point, North Israel did not repent to God until the end and tried to solve the situation by asking help from other countries. The people did not listen to the last warning of Hosea, and when things started to look bad, they tried to solve the problems through international relations and political strategies. So with a disappointed heart, God once again told the people through the prophet Hosea of their last opportunity to repent. God rebuked the people for their arrogance and their sins, as well as their wickedness in not admitting their sins. God furthermore rebuked them for not listening to God's prophet. The people also forgot about God's past grace. 
Thus, they were unable to escape God's judgment. First point, Hosea claimed that the governing reason behind the destruction of North Israel was due to their idol worship. Among the many sins of the people of North Israel, their representative sin was idol worship. When Ephraim spoke, people trembled. He was exalted in Israel. But he became guilty of bar worship and died. So God told them that they who forgot God and worshipped idols would indeed be punished. God spoke of judgment by referring to the time when the people requested a king back in the days of Samuel and also when Jeroboam had departed from the ways of David to establish North Israel. North Israel had neglected a kingdom of priests. Fifth point, Hosea's last cry was that those who repented would receive God's blessing. Now, this was Hosea's final cry. Return, Israel, to the Lord your God. Your sins have been your downfall. Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all our sins and receive us graciously, that we may offer the fruit of our lips. Assyria cannot save us. We will not mount war horses. We will never again say our gods to what our own hands have made, for in you the Father is find compassion. Hosea told the people to return and to present the offering of repentance to God. They were to obey God only and to never again serve idols. The final message was that God would bless those who repented. Israel that was to be restored would be glorious. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.